So when I type in on the keyboard, it is interpreted as simply uh, a the, the word stream is derived from river or creek, and because that's the semantic, that it's just a flow, just like water flows down that, input and output is flowing in the same sense, in that if I type in uh, Todd, a space, Gibson, uh, two spaces, and then maybe I put in a a new line here, maybe I put in a couple new lines and then I put in a couple more spaces and then I type in 41 and then, well, let's just leave it at that. Then I hit, uh, I hit the enter key so there's a new line here. So these are, these are the enter key, yeah. <coughs> So when I type this in, Todd space Gibson space space enter enter space space 41, for some reason that one's confusing me like it's a slash, so let me just rename that to be 48. Um, this is how it's interpreted. It's just a stream of characters. There's, there is, generally speaking, there's no significance for the letter D versus a space versus hitting the enter key. Everything hit on this keyboard is just one more character to go into the stream. Okay. So the question is, how is it that your program is interpreting the stream? Now the way I've typed this in, I have a string, a string, not I'm enunciating like that so it doesn't get confused with the creek version stream. A, a string, a string, uh, spaces, enters, and a number. So string, string, number. So I'm going to write I'm going to create a string first, string last, uh, integer, I don't know, height. First, last, height. Or I could have gone first, last, right, and every variant you could think of. The, uh, let me go with, well, it doesn't matter. I'll, I'll go with this first one. And I'll comment these out, and we'll label this as equivalent. So uh, the way that the language, or the way that CN gobbles up characters, so a string means that it's implied to be characters, is the first thing, <coughs> excuse me, is that it ignores any white space. It'll just eat, gobble up white space and throw them in, in the trash. Uh, you'll note that there is no white space here. So after it gobbles up any white space, as soon as it finds non-white space characters, oh, and let me, as a side note, I know I've defined this before, but let me repeat that white space means anything that you don't normally see as a glyph on the screen, a space, a tab, the enter key. Um, and those are the, the three most common white space characters. So it doesn't see any of those. As soon as it finds a non-white space character, it will start taking each character out of the stream and putting it into this string variable until it hits another white space, in which case it stops. So the way that plays out here, let me do this in red, is it starts reading, 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 and it stops right here, and all of this goes into first. Okay, So when it's done with this bit right here, that is where it is going to read next in the stream. So now it needs to read in last. 
it finds a white space character here, this space. So it gobbles it up and totally ignores it, but now it finds the G, which is a non-white space character. So it reads, 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 reads. As soon as it hits white space, it stops. And then all of this goes into, not second, last. Then we get to this last one. Okay, this behaves the same way, except that what it's expecting is our digits. And incidentally, if you don't give it digits, CN freaks out, goes into a fetal position, and ignores everything. Okay, meaning you can use CN all you want after that. CN will just not listen to you until you give it a specific command to kind of get it out of its shell and tell it that things are okay. Uh, but by default, once it hits something unexpected, it totally shuts down. Uh, in this case, we're not we're not trying to stress out C, and we're trying to use it as expected. So, same same kind of idea. All white space before is ignored. As soon as it finds a digit, it starts reading. So it'll ignore, 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 ignore. It finds the four. Now we have digits. As soon as it finds a non-digit, it stops reading and all of this so now it is sitting right here to read in and all of this goes into height and I, I suppose I should print it out so let me do this see out first and line oops last and line height end line. And then after I'm done printing those out to the screen, then my program ends. Okay. So in interesting thing to note is that if you look at what I've typed in here, there's actually something waiting to be read in when my program ends. It's that last enter key that I hit. It's actually a character on the stream waiting to be read in. If your program ends, then it just goes away and we don't really notice it, but I just want to make very clear semantically how this thing is behaving and that that is sitting there waiting to be read in. And if I wanted to, I could do some sort of uh, command to read that in, read in the last new line if I were inclined, but I'm not inclined. All right, so let's test it out. Not a lot to see. I'll clear. And I do Todd space Gibson space space Todd. Oops, let's run it. Todd space Gibson space space. Then I hit the enter key twice. Enter enter. Then I do space space 48, and I hit the enter key one more time. Okay. So note that it ignored all the white space. Uh, and and starts reading in your variable once it hits non-white space and it stops reading in your variable once um, it hits white space again. All right, so that is how input works. Output works the same way. Anything you spit out is just like a stream of characters going to the screen. Um, uh, we need a different way of reading in strings if they're going to be multiple words in that string. And there is. There's something called getLine. And the way getLine works is you tell it what the string is. So what I'm going to do is getLine name. Let me create a different string name. And I want to read from CN, I want it to be called name, and uh, that's all you need. If that's all you have, it will stop reading in information once it hits an enter key. So this is read in everything and don't stop until a new line is encountered. And that is how you would read in information that includes spaces. And this is normally how it would work. What is your name? Todd space Gibson. Then I hit the enter key, right? That would then stop after the end because that's where I hit the, the enter and introduce the new line. 
So that's how that would work. Now the final piece of the puzzle is how in the world do files work? And the lovely thing about files is once you get them open, it behaves exactly, exactly, exactly like everything I've said with CN. Okay? So reading from a file is just like reading in from the keyboard. It's just reading in a stream of stuff or a stream of characters. And the only thing you have to do with files is you have to say pound include f stream. That means that you want to read it. This is input and output stream, so that lets you use C in and C out. This lets you use files. Uh, you say that I want to open an input file. I want to input file stream called whatever you want, Barney. This is create an input file stream. This means input. It's coming in from the keyboard the same way C in is. Barney dot open my file dot text and now open the file now you can use Barney exactly as you would use CN what do I mean by that I can take these lines here and if I change well take this line if I change CN to Barney It'll read in a first name and a last name and a height from Barney rather than from the keyboard. And when I'm done, when you're done, you just close it.